He's like, do I chase the hellhounds or do I bone this girl? Okay, hi guys, I am back with Supernatural. I've been really enjoying like regularly watching Supernatural and um, I'm really like interested in this, in this season and like this second half of the season more so even. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what ends up happening with the Men of Letters because I still don't get it, but I'm so interested and like ready to find out. But yeah, just a quick reminder that if you don't know already, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon. And on Patreon, you can find the uncut reactions to Supernatural so we can watch the full episode together, not just the edited YouTube version. You'll also get every single other show that I react to, all of them uncut, all under one tier. So if you're interested and you want to check it out, definitely do so. Otherwise, let's get into this episode, guys. There was a lot of like old clips shown in the previously on. I feel so bad for him. When are we gonna see Garth though? They talked about Garth in the previously on. So maybe he is gonna be in this. This is the sh same shit, different day. <laughs> Holy crap. Did he do it? <laughs> Holy crap. <gasps> the blood. <gasps> He doesn't die, does he? What the hell? Hey, Mom. Aww. Aww. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. I haven't had my own room ever. Aww. Memory foam. It remembers me. Aww. Memory foam. It remembers me. Just got that. Oh, that's so cute, though. They're kind of like finally getting a little bit of a home. I'm gonna go fix us some grub. Housewife Dean era. Where's your room, Sam? Oh, they should change the locks on that place, Three. though, just in case somebody else has Should've, a key. Uh, everything. Damn, those look good as. F I'm nesting. Okay, eat. Oh. <laughs> I mean, hey, he was a little. Housewife for a bit there. Had a kid and everything. Wow. You're welcome. That looks so good. Kevin, it's us. I feel like he's gonna die. He had all his little notes on this stuff, but he never, I don't think he ever like explained what it all came down to. What if that's like the issue is he does translate it, but. Found him. Look, I'm gonna feel dirty saying this, but you might want a salad and a. Shower. I know, and I've been getting bad headaches at nosebleeds, and mm. I think maybe I had a small stroke. He done did it. Come here, you smelly son of a bitch. Mm. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna like die okay, or something okay. before so what does this mean? What he can get at? all the information it's out. Spell. The tablet says whosoever chooses to undertake these tasks should fear not danger nor death nor. A word I think means getting your spine ripped out through your mouth for all eternity. No, thank you. You've got to kill a hound of hell and bathe in its blood. Awesome. Shit. Awesome. Oh, that's why it showed the hellhounds in the previous sound. Hey, Kevin, buddy, you got to slow down. What? Get some shut eye. Take a day off. I'll no more coffee. Right. I hate it here. I, I can't do feel leave so bad because every him. demon on the planet wants to peel my face off. Right? When she calls, all she does is cry. Mm. I need this to be over. It's sad because yeah, obviously there's 15 seasons of Supernatural, so I'm assuming that the door does not get closed. I don't see a way that he's going to make it out of this alive. Small-time farmers who struck oil on their land in February of 03, which is weird because geological surveys... Yeah, you had me weird. All right, we think a deal? As long as you say it's weird, I'm in. Sam, we are on the one-yard line. It is time to play through the pain. And the last thing he needs is more caffeine. It's not about playing through the pain. He's the only person in the world that we know of that can read that, so... I don't know. Ever worked a farm before? Definitely. <laughs> We're quick learners. So convincing. I miss my room. We're good. <laughs> okay. It's like, I just got my room and I already have to sleep somewhere else. Ew. I don't know if I can do it. I hate you. <laughs> I don't care. Do I look like a hippie? Organic food is better for the cattle. My land, my animals, my money, my way. She's a peach. What are we gonna do? She's the boss. Here 
drink. <laughs> you better chill. I should check on them. All right. Hurry back. Okay. She's not coming back. I hate to tell you. Oh shit, he's going for him. So it was the wrong person. Hellhound's gone. We were too busy chasing a pile of Jack to stop it. Let's grab our stuff and get out of here. They need to find somebody that's for sure the one that made the deal. What if they both made one? Fine. You sure? I really am, and I know I shouldn't be because I loved Carl. I think I just can't remember why. What the hell? When did you two get together? Valentine's Day, 2003. About this party. Carl was there. It was like I was seeing him for the first time. Is it because part of his wish was for her? And then now that it's over, she doesn't feel anything about him? Carl didn't sell his soul for oil. He sold it for Alice, his wife. He loved her. She barely noticed him, so he made a deal. And now that time's up, it's like she barely even knew the guy. Yep. I knew it. I want to kill a hellhound. And not die. How about you? You right? You right? We don't need to die today. Damn, all those old ass cars. She ran away just before it's Alice her. and Carl tied the knot. Lives in Paris. How do you know all this? I've been working on this farm since I was 13. Wow. 13? Why? Slash how? Impressed. I do like a man who can handle his meat. Oh. Okay, shit, okay. She's a prostitute who looks like a child. Are you done? Alice is in mourning. Oh, I'm sorry, Margie. I didn't see you there. You're too far up on your high horse. It was definitely her that made the deal. Carl, he loved you. Yeah, that was back what? when Margie was fat and Sen was sober a long time ago. <clears throat> Get cancer and die, old man. What is wrong with these people? No wonder the cops had good luck. Daddy invited that traveling salesman to dinner. Crowley. Oh shit. Dude's king of hell. Grabbing a few souls, it's gotta be below his pay grade. I guess. Any idea who signed the dotted line? I have no clue. It's brutal in there. Holy shit, though. We could use a window. Uh, or glasses. I think we still got some Jesus juice left in the trunk. All right, I'll take care of the uh, the x-ray specs. You stay here and not let JR and the gang out of your sight, all right? Hey, That's hey, convenient. Uh, you did great, man. Get some sleep. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Dane, come on. If he does too much and stays up too much, he's gonna ruin himself. But I get it. Like he's he's this close. He can he can almost taste it, you know. But it's not healthy. Why does she have a pistol? Hey, hey, hey! hey. These man are gonna be put down. Doing this for Carl. Okay, just don't. Just hold on a second. No, nope, go on now. It's not safe. Let's do it. Oh shit! Damn. How do they know for sure that that's gonna work? And he does not need to be distracted right now. I think you're really hot. <laughs> you wanna go to my room and have sex? Okay. Oh, no, 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 I want to. Uh, believe me. <laughs> no, it's okay, you don't. I guess I'm gonna. Lily, um. Rain Jack. This is one night only. Sorry. Come on. You're gonna get the guts up to say that and then you're gonna back out? He's like, do I chase the hellhounds or do I bone this girl? I wish he would have like chased them and then was like, I wanna come with you. I'm a really good hunter. Let me go get my stuff and then go get the glasses or something. But I guess they barely really agreed to let him come, so. Oh shit. Watch yourself, boy. Oh my god! Go back to the house! Go! Go! Move! Oh shit. I feel like they should have checked to see if she was alive, but at least they know that they were able to kill it, or at least get it to back off. Are you insane? They're obviously insane. Don't play dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not playing. I didn't sell my damn soul. I'm not playing, I actually am dumb. <laughs> no, well, you can't do this. You yes, can't. I can. You want to know why? Because it's what I do. And buddy, I'm the best. See, I got old yellow right there, and maybe <laughs> just maybe. We know you did it, bitch. Also, yeah, they made deals with Crowley, but it's not like it's not like they didn't see all the other shit that was going on or like the stuff that was part of making this deal. Where are you people? We're here to help. 
And she's the most innocent one in this. <laughs> Poor Sam. He's always got to be the one that is left when Dean makes his dumbass statements. I still think, you know what? People said this way back in the day on my videos that it would be so smart to put this stuff like through a hula hoop and have the hula hoop be around you, you know? So they literally cannot get in there. But you'd think that by now they'd have some type of system or something where they can get even, even if it's just like f a fabric like tubing that can like roll up when they're not using it, but like something that can actually line it. So that way there's no like wind that can blow it open or whatever, because it happens every time. What am I, when are we ever safe? Right. <laughs> this is different. How? Because of the three trials crap. God's little obstacle course. We've been down roads like this before, man. One of us dies. Or worse. I mean... So you just up and decided it's gonna be you? I'm a grunt. Listen, this is season eight. Y'all really haven't realized by now that you don't just die. You got plot armor. Some shit always happens and it works out in your favor. It somehow always works out. So why is he giving this speech? Like, come on. Is that I'm gonna die with a gun in my hand. No. That's what You're I not gonna die at all. Me. That's all I have waiting for you with a wife and kids and, and, and grandkids live no. fat, why does it seem like he's like saying goodbye <laughs> that is my perfect ending just because you think it's what you're gonna get doesn't mean it's your perfect ending also where's castiel i miss him if you try to follow me i'm gonna put a bullet in your damn leg jesus he's never really like acted like that before obviously we've got him being protective and saying stuff like that before but that was like i don't know he looks good with glasses on i like i like it I don't know. He's, he just, I don't know. It, it went from them being happy to be working together and both be all in together to now it feel like he's thinks he's doomed. Why would he not keep the glasses on? <laughs> Sam's glasses. I did the math. She makes money and I'm rich. Do it again. Right. They don't need to sell their soul to get somebody... He's got the monies. Because you struck oil where there was no oil. That didn't seem weird to you. How did they know though that that, that wasn't it? Like both the deaths. Just in time. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm good. I bet you she made the fucking yeah, deal. Great. That's why she said one night only. She made a deal. This is gonna sound crazy. She made but the fucking deal. There is something evil out there. I know. You know. It's coming for me. I knew it. I should have known. I should have freaking known when she said one night only. That's why she wanted to do it. Is she fucking stupid? Oh my god. Like, are you trying to die? Did she make a deal too? She must have. Why is she acting like they're holding them hostage? I'm not trying to help. Dumb bitch. Put everybody in danger. When my parents split up, my mom took a job here. Oh, that's why she was working at 13. Had money. My mom, she had Parkinson's early stages. Oh. I knew how that story would end. So I took the deal. Mom is retired down in Phoenix now. What would you do for your mom? She's dead. A few years ago, Carl got drunk. He told me he did some kind of magic at a crossroads. Summon a oh, demon. Oh, shit. I thought I was next. And you didn't run? Where would I run? <laughs> All I wanted was one last meal, some good tunes, and maybe some sex. At least kiss her in case she dies. You must protect her. Oh, what the? Oh, she's starting to see shit. Dean, what's happening? Ellie, whatever you're seeing, it's not real. Ew. Maybe he should have explained that to her beforehand. No matter what happens, you stay inside that circle. You understand me? Bruh. Something tells me she's not going to stay inside the circle. Damn, if only they knew about that. Back in the day. You ugly bitch. So you're a crowd, bitch. I guess pets really do look like their owners. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Where's the glasses? Ooh. Got him. Holy shit. Oh, gross. Ew. Holy f so she just gets to live? Like, that's it? 
You need to go to a hospital. Oh, I've had worse. <laughs> True. I'm not going to hell. Not on my watch. Aw. You give us a minute? Hey, man, uh, can you go to the car and give me, like, 30 minutes? <laughs> Sam, I didn't pass the test, but I did. And I'm doing the rest of them. My ass you are. Closing the gates. It's a suicide mission for you. Sam, I want to slam hell shut, too, okay? But I want to survive it. Yeah. I want to live. And in my opinion, that's an even, like, easier way to succeed doing it is because you want to survive. You have that need to do it and get it right to survive. And I feel like it's going to be Sam's redemption with all the stuff that's happened with him. You're not a grunt, Dean. You're a genius. When it comes to lore, to... Uh -huh. You're the best damn hunter I have ever seen. Better than me. Better than Dad. I believe True. you, Dean. So uh -huh. please. Please. Believe in me too. He can do it. Aw. Holy shit though. He's like, don't make me regret this. Jamie. What is it doing? Is it turning him in? What, the what was that? I'm good, I'm okay. I can do this. What the hell was that though? The look on Dean's face, though, f***ing terrified. Because you don't even know what's going to happen. You don't know what to expect at all. Alright, there we go. That was season 8, episode 14 of Supernatural. This was a good episode. I feel like it started off a little bit slow, though. But once it started going, I was really interested in, interested in it. And, um, yeah, it's crazy that the guy made his wish to be with a girl. And then now that he died and the spell's gone, she no longer, like, cares you know, like she knew she knows that she's supposed to care, but she just like doesn't because it wasn't real, which is honestly like really sad. And then the daughter also made the other daughter. No, the daughter. Yeah. Made one as well, a deal as well. And they find out, which was a plot twist, that the groundskeeper girl, I can't remember what her name is, also made a deal. And it was to help her mom that had Parkinson's, which is really sad. And, um, I, I can't believe I didn't catch on to it, especially when she said, like, this is a one-night-only thing. I was just thinking it was like, oh, she was embarrassed about getting turned down, so she's not gonna, she's not gonna agree to doing it at a different time, you know? And it w was really kind of sad to hear Dean talk in this episode about how he, like, genuinely doesn't see an end for him that isn't dying doing this, you know? It's, it's really sad. And, and honestly, that, like Sam was saying at the end, that mentality is what gets you killed doing these things wanting to live wanting to survive it is what gets you through and that's why sam is the right person to do it and honestly this is like sam's hell redemption arc you know he went through so much every time they had to do this and now he gets to be the one that closes the gates to hell obviously they don't stay closed or they don't actually get closed because you know there's 15 seasons of supernatural but I think, I think it's important that this is Sam's journey and his storyline. I kind of wish, though, that he said, like, you're right, I do see a light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel, but also I see you there as well. Because, I don't know, it's, I love that Dean was, like, in the beginning of the episode was super, like, oh, I'm nesting, and this is my room, and I did this, and I put this picture up, you know. It's so sweet, and I feel like for that time, he really was feeling that, like, hey, I could, I could live. I could have a life here and have a future. I have a room, and he hasn't ever had a room. It's just, I hate how quick his mentality changed. Not that it changed, and that was when it changed. Obviously, it's been like that for a long time, but I feel like he almost had a little bit of faith, and then it kind of slowly went away. I just, I want Dean to get out of that, like, sacrificial headspace, because he doesn't need to die to fix things. Nobody needs to die to fix things. It's going to be interesting to see Sam handle this situation, though. Like, what even happened to his arm at the end? We don't even know. We don't even, like, they don't even know what to expect with these trials. It was the trials? I don't know. And I'm, I'm, oh my god, I'm just nervous. I feel like one of the trials is going to be him having to confront Lucifer again. I feel like it's got to be that. Or maybe a trial is, like, him having to go up against his biggest fear and maybe that's gonna be lucifer i don't know i just feel lucifer come back in soon i don't know why and you know what another reason for dean to want to stay alive to be there for his brother to to help his brother you know 
And I hope by the end of the season that we, that changes a little bit. Dean's just kind of always been like that, though. And it breaks my heart every time. Also, the old man was disgusting and really weird. This was a good episode though. Like I said, started off a little bit slow, but got better towards the end. Oh, it also scares me because he kind of has the mentality like, I'm going to go down with the ship, but also he's so calm about it that it makes me un uneasy. It's kind of like, you know how like a very common sign of somebody who might commit suicide is like kind of all of a sudden they become content in, with themselves and in, in their lives. And so they go from being like super upset or super manic or super miserable to all of a sudden they're okay it kind of gives me that vibe like he's truly accepted that he's not going to survive and he said even said so i just i don't i hope that's not the case i hope that's not the case but yeah really enjoyed the episode nonetheless supernatural is good anyway um but yeah started off slow got better towards the end and i enjoyed it yeah so i think that is pretty much it i hope that we see where is castiel and i want to see garth and i want charlie i want castiel charlie and garth here now that's it but yeah, i think that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in episode 15 thanks for watching